morning students welcome back how are you all today i hope you all are doing well so this is the last session for science lesson 1 food are few we have come covered the components of food and good food habits so let's recap the entire lesson of the things that we have learned initially we learned that we need to choose between healthy and unhealthy food and how can we do that based on the components of food which are also known as nutrients now based on the components of food we learned that food is divided into three groups the first one being energy giving food which consists of carbohydrates and fats we learned their importance as well as the sources of carbohydrates and fats the next one is body building foods which consists of proteins in proteins we learned there is plant protein and animal protein we also discussed the importance of both the types of proteins as well as their sources third group being protective foods which consists of vitamins minerals vitamins we learned the six vitamins vitamin a vitamin b vitamin c vitamin d vitamin e and vitamin k we learned about their benefits as well as their various sources then we moved on to minerals we learned about the importance and two types of minerals namely iron and calcium further we went on to the other components of food which are water we learned about the importance of water as well as fiber which is vital for digestive health next we went on to good food habits we learned that if we have good food habits we can lead a healthy life and if we do not have good food habits it leads to unclean and unsafe food as well as the safety precautions we need to take while handling food we also learned about unclean and unsafe food and how they affect us by causing illnesses like stomach aches vomiting as well as diarrhea moving on we learned about storage of food packaging of food wastage of food as well as the people who deal with food nutrition and food safety so those were the concepts that we learned in this lesson i hope you have understood all the concepts well we now move on to the worksheets let us discuss the fill in the blanks of worksheet 1 components of food that provide nutrition to our body and helps us stay healthy are called nutrients second foods rich in carbohydrates and fats are called energy giving foods third fats help us in keeping our skin soft and healthy fourth without fats our diet remains incomplete fifth food rich in proteins is called body building food now we move on to true or false if the sentence is false we need to mention the correct statement plant protein contains more fat than animal proteins false animal proteins contain more fat proteins are only present in foods from animal sources false proteins are present in foods from animal and plant foods dairy products and nuts are source of fats true fatty foods are known as body building food false fatty foods are known as energy giving food or else you can write it as protein foods are known as body building food animal protein should be consumed in large portions false 
animal proteins should be consumed in small portions. Next, we move on to worksheet 2. Vitamins and minerals are nutrients that help protect our body from illnesses. The food rich in vitamins and minerals is called protective food. Vitamin C helps us fight diseases, heal wounds, helps our bones and gums get stronger. Iron helps us have healthy blood. Not drinking enough water will lead to dehydration. Fiber is an important component of food that helps with good digestive health. Constipation is a condition where we find it difficult to pass stools. Junk food contains high levels of sugar and fat and extremely low levels of other nutrients. True or false? Food gives us water and fiber for the proper functioning of our body. True. We should drink water at regular intervals. True. Vitamin K helps us have healthy and strong bones and teeth. False. Vitamin K helps us heal wounds and have healthy heart. Seeds and nuts and oils are good sources of vitamin E. True. Our skin makes vitamin C from sunlight. False. Our skin makes vitamin D from sunlight. Moving on to worksheet 3. The germs carried by unclean and unsafe food cause illnesses. Diarrhea is a condition where we suffer from loose or watery motions. Storing food in cold places prevents the germs from growing. The food packages have lot of information written on it. True or false? We should not wash the food and vegetables before consuming them. False. We should always wash the food and vegetables before consuming them. The germs carried by unclean and unsafe food cause illnesses. True. We should not follow safety precautions while handling food. False. We should always follow safety precautions while handling food. We should store raw or cooked food properly. True. We should not check the expiry date of any packaged food before buying it. False. We should always check the expiry date of any packaged food before buying it. So those were the answers to all the worksheets that have been uploaded so far. After today's class, there will be a worksheet that is uploaded which will contain all the answers of the questions asked in the three previous worksheets. It will also contain new words, glossary as well as the answers to the question time for you to learn the lesson. But with that, this is the end of science lesson one, food our fuel. Thank you and have a great day.